Joe Beermaster of a 2009 GMC Sierra. This goes also for multiple years and also Chevy pickup trucks, Silverados. We have a headlight out here. We have a high beam that's out and we also have a park light right there that's out. There's a little condensation in there so that might be the reason why they're going out. I'm going to show you how to change the bulbs. This side is working. You can see how it's supposed to look. So one of the first things we want to do is open the hood and take the shroud off the top. There is no shroud on this vehicle. It's already removed, but it's usually held in by little clips, little push pin clips. So you take the push pins out, take the shroud off, give you access to all, to all the bolts. So you can see there's two 10 millimeter bolts there that hold it in. One there, one here. The 10 millimeter socket. Use an air ratchet or do it by hand. In this case, I'm going to do it by hand. It's real easy. All right, so we got them out. That's broke. So now we have those two bolts out. You can see it moves but it doesn't come out so what we have to do is take this part of the bumper cover off and slide it open because there's a bolt under here and this is done easily by taking these two eight millimeter bolts off let's see if they're an eight i believe they are nope they're going to be sevens let me get a seven all right so we got a seven we're going to take that off an air ratchet would be much quicker but only a couple bolts. That one out, we just basically loosen it because it's got a sort of a slide. So once that's loose, we're gonna pull the light, get a little tug. As you can see here, this is hitting the grill. So we're gonna to to take the grill out also, which is very simple. One, two, three, four, ten millimeters. And we'll take them out. It should only take a minute or two. Alright, so I got all the top screws off. And if you look inside there, there's a little clip that holds the grill in. So we're going to try to press that and get that clip loose. Basically push it down and pull at the same time. Once you got the bottom clip off, this will make a little clearance. You're going to make a little clearance and get the bumper cover to slide under these. That, so once everything's clear, you start wiggling it out. I just wanted to show you that in there is a little clip that holds the bottom of the light in and you just have to pull it hard. See it right in there. Right in there. So we're going to pull that bottom of that light out hard and it should pop out. So I'm pulling on the bottom and it came loose. So there you go. I didn't even have to really take that bottom clip off. Alright, so now that I got the light out, I'm going to twist the light out, just twist them out, see that bulb broke in there, and there's a number on this socket, we're going to take that off, we're going to lift this up and then pull the bulb, lift this clip up and pull the bulb, you got to watch it don't get cut, I need two hands so I'm going to have to put the camera down, this one, spin, that will come out, Got to kind of work it out. You pull that out like a Christmas tree bulb. All right, got both bulbs out. They do have numbers on there, so you can order them off the numbers, 
or you can call your local supply house and tell them what the application is for. In this case, it's a 2009 GMC Sierra. One's the headlight beam, the other one is the park light turn signal light. And they will match it up for you. And we're just going to put it back, everything back the in reverse. The hardest thing is getting that light out. All right, so we got a new bulb. Plug it back in. And this, these bulbs, you're not supposed to get your fingers on them because the grease will... It attracts the heat. Attracts and the it'll heat. explode. And then you may want to test these first. And then I'm going to show you how to put them back in. They only go in one way. There's a bigger side and a smaller. And the little things just line up and go right in. Otherwise, it's the wrong light. Now this bulb. That was an in right. See that? Mm -hmm. And if it's one way, huh. I keep working this till you get it. All he goes in one way. See the tabs are there's bigger ones and smaller ones. Yep, and there's the biggest tab. So we're gonna put the biggest tab on the biggest side, which is down that end. So we're gonna have to keep worming it in till you get it. a little strange but that's crazy I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, seal that up before you put it back in just put everything back in reverse and you got it Joe Beermaster thank you for watching I know it's it's a work in process so I'm filming and doing the repair myself so it's a little shaky Appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.